Hello everyone, um, welcome to uh, Get Ready With Me. My name's Audrey. We're just gonna chat and do my makeup. It's my friend's birthday tonight. So we're going out and I'm happy you're here. I already have this cute little headband on because I'm having one of those days where I didn't wash my hair and it's not that cute. So it might be going up in a pony tonight, but that's not what this video is. Right now we're doing like an updated makeup routine. Get ready with me. Right now I have the Clinique Moisture Surge on my face. It's just the daily moisturizer I use. And then I also have Aquaphor on my lips and we're just going to get started. Okay. Sometimes I get like a little flustered when I start my makeup because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing So my routine's like pretty simple, but also it's developed over the years and I'm proud of myself Gonna try something new straight off the bat, which I don't know if that's a good idea for right now But we're gonna do it anyways. I just got these versed mood lighting glow drops. Oh, it comes in like this it's in shade golden and I think I'm just gonna put it like on like where I would normally put highlighter That's what I saw like on a tiktok not for this product like a completely different product. Oh my gosh a lot just came out Okay, okay a lot just came out Okay, that is a l that's a lot. I'm putting this on it does have like a nice glow to it actually Okay, should I put it all over my face? I'm feeling like I should we're just going for it. So today is April. It's actually the Wednesday before Easter. I'm leaving tomorrow at like the crack of dawn to go see my boyfriend. He lives in Utah. He goes to school there. So we're in a long distance relationship and I feel like I haven't talked a ton about that. Hold on. I need to go get my... I need to go wash this off. I really like how that looked on my face. I feel like I look glowy. Hold on. Okay, I got paper towels. In all honesty, y'all are sitting on my tissue box, so I'm gonna use those. Um, okay, so far I liked this. Now we're gonna go in with this Glossier Skin Tint in G7. Okay, back to my boyfriend. Don't talk about him a ton, but I post him on Instagram, like, when we get cute pictures. So, that's that. I think eventually I'll tell y'all more, but I like just saying little snippets i feel like it's a good balance of everything okay can i just like put this on with my fingers not a lot of method to it anyways worst story ever actually this is not the worst thing that could happen to me but this sunday i went to la with my friend we went and saw billy eilish and we flew delta there and so i remember i got like an email notification like four days before my trip i'm flying delta to salt lake city too and so on sunday i was like that's weird i haven't gotten like a notification or anything about like my upcoming flight and so i go through my email no emails to be found about my salt lake city delta trip look through my credit card charges nothing i didn't book a ticket and it's so weird because this entire time i thought i booked a ticket in january was when i was like planned this trip i went through my text with my boyfriend i even texted him that i booked my easter flight and i never did so i must have not hit confirm i'm glad i realized it on sunday versus like today but tickets were still like twice as much which is annoying okay going on to concealer i'm using the tarte ultra creamy shape tape i got this little travel size and this is honestly my hack for makeup because i don't wear a lot of makeup so i don't go through a lot of makeup and i know it's not like your best price per ounce but it's like easy to pack because it's small i also have the travel size in laura mercier this has lasted me so long because i don't wear a lot of makeup and actually i did the travel size because i tried this concealer and i actually really like it um so probably next time i'm going to buy like a full size but this is in the shade medium honey i always put some like in the inner corner because one time this lady told me i had veins there like this makeup lady not in a mean way but just like you should put concealer there like when she was showing me how to do concealer i don't know if that's a normal place to do concealer probably i don't know much about makeup some days i blend with this sephora 57 brush but i don't think today is going to be that day i'm going to use my fingers today so anyways my flight this weekend super expensive but i'm really excited to see him a ton of people go home for easter which last year got really sad for me like the only time i was ever homesick freshman year was easter weekend because everyone went home and i was basically alone so i'm excited to go somewhere this weekend and go see my boyfriend we've seen each other like every month which is nice okay there is my concealer i feel like i really like the glow serum and i feel like i'm gonna use that from now on because my skin looks really good um so i'm glad i tried something new if it's not blended perfectly it's fine um then i go within 
the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. It's like the light one. I don't know if this comes in different shades. My sister told me to do a get ready with me. She knows like so much more about makeup than I do um, and always has. Like I never have been into makeup and she always like loved putting makeup on. Anyways, she told me like her pet peeve is when she watches get ready with me's and they don't say the like shade. So going to always say the shade for y'all. <laughs> Thanks, my sister. Okay, so I kind of just do that <laughs> just a little bit. I put it like in the cap and then tap it with this brush. This brush I think was like Smashbox. I don't know. It just looks like this. This is fun. I like this Get Ready With Me. Okay, then I'm going in with the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer in Grace Bay. I think that's the name. It's like this cream bronzer, and then I go in with the Sephora Brush 99. This is the first bronzer I've ever purchased. Probably better ones out there. Um, there's like a Tarte sale and i just kind of go like this school for me lately things have been dying down um i haven't been super busy it's kind of because like things are about to really pick up for finals it's crazy to me that i only have like one more month of my sophomore year in college for those of you who don't know i go to the university of texas and i absolutely love it and i'm a sophomore and it's just crazy like how fast it's gone by and i don't know if that's partially because of covid or because like i don't know that's just how college is i mean everyone says college flies by so fast and so it probably is just like that's how college is um but I like feel like I just moved into the sorority house and it's crazy to me that like I'm about to move out and it's kind of sad. I'm not going to be living with Klein anymore next year because she's living in the house again and I'm moving into an apartment which I'm super excited about and it doesn't really matter that much but it's just sad that this like so my sorority house experience is coming to an end and I, I'm not going to think about it anymore. Okay next. Ooh, I have like product all over this. Must have splashed. Okay I use this Sephora blush in this Trio Face Palette. It's Dare. I went to Sephora looking for a blush. This is the only one that I like liked. I'm sure there's better ones out there. And then I used the Sephora Brush 79. And I just put it like this. Speaking of school, I am going to do summer school. But not like how it sounds. Based on what I'm planning on, I announced this on Instagram. I haven't announced it yet in this moment. But I think by the time this video comes out, I like kind of soft launched it. And I don't know why I didn't want to tell people right off the bat. I feel like it's kind of like the inner YouTuber of me that I'm like, oh my god, like everything has to be a surprise. Everything has to be an announcement. I don't know. And I don't even consider myself a YouTuber sometimes even though... I am. Anyways, I am going to LA for the summer. I'm technically moving to LA for the summer. And um, UT has a program called UTLA. Oh wait, hold on. Let me do my highlighter. This is Makeup by Mario Soft Glow Highlighter in Golden. And I really like it. Super shimmery. Anyways, UTLA. It is my school's program. It's like specifically for people who want to go into the entertainment industry. My like the Moody College of Communications puts it on. And I always knew like whenever I went to like tour on UT, once I heard, found out about it, I was like, I want to do that. I'm originally from California. And so I have been to LA before, especially because my grandma lives in Southern California. I don't know. I'm really excited. I applied and got in. It's not like super usual for sophomores to do it and you can also like do it any other semester like you would like in a broad program I am really excited I'm living with my sorority big which is like so I'm so excited to live with her I got an internship so the program how the program works you get an internship and then you do a few classes if you have a full-time internship you take one class if you have a part-time internship you take two classes I got an internship which is really exciting and they said it could be either part-time or full-time so I'm still like deciding what I want to do need to kind of decide that quickly for brows going in with the Charlotte Tilbury legendary brow wand in dark brown I am very excited to move to LA for for the summer one I feel like there's gonna be amazing content for y'all and just like my vlogs and like being in such a creative space I mentioned that I went to LA over the weekend granted like it was a different experience because I was staying in this like super nice hotel in Beverly Hills like I know my life isn't gonna like realistically be exactly like that but even just like walking around LA um, I feel so inspired and so I'm really excited to move there for the summer and then I get to kind of feel out like if that's somewhere that I would want to move to after college stuff like that finding an internship was hard and maybe I'll talk about that like in a different like college prep video or something they advised us to apply to like 
to 50 internships and internships in the entertainment industry are hard to get yeah so I didn't apply to 50 I think I applied to 12 and then I got this offer and I was like I just want to take it because it was so stressful applying to internships and I can't even imagine what applying to jobs is like I got like I think three interviews and a lot of rejections <laughs> that's like I mean that's how it works so I'm super thankful I got the internship that I did and I'm very excited. What else about LA? I'm trying to think. To finish my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo Dark Brown. This just to kind of give it more shape. I am like loving how my skin looks right now. Like I feel like it's super glowy. I don't know if it's just the camera and this is how like my makeup usually looks. But I, I'm going to say it's the serum the mood lighting glow drops by verse anyways doing my makeup and talking i get like lost so i'm trying to think if there's anything else about la that i want to tell y'all overall i think it's going to be a very busy summer for me i just like have kind of already accepted that and i'm really excited to work but i know already balancing youtube and school is pretty difficult and so i'm a little nervous to like add an internship into there um but i'm still excited to learn and also my internship seems really cool and they were like super excited that i have a youtube channel but i'm so excited about making content that i feel like i'm gonna make it work now on to eyes what do i want to do first okay i'm gonna take this brush this is from morphe i don't know what number it is and then i'm gonna take this morphe 35 XO palette. I don't always use this one. And I'm gonna use Just Friends. It's like this like bronzy color and just kind of put it in the corner of my eyes just for like a light eye look. This is gonna kind of be my first like summer, it will be my first summer away from home. And I feel like it's a good balance because I am from California and so I live like a six hour drive away from LA in like a really quick easy flight. So if anything happens, I can go home or like I'm still used to it and I feel like it's not like a huge jump far from home, but I am spending like most of May at home. But yeah, that's like my big announcement. Super exciting and I'll probably clickbait another video that like, oh my God, I'm moving to LA, which I like kind of am just for two months. Next for eyes, this is what I kind of do for eyeliner every time because I can't do eyeliner. I take this Morphe like angled brush and this Morphe palette also use Make It Official. It's like this dark shade. Sometimes I use this like e.l.f. palette, rose gold eyeshadow palette in Sunset. It kind of has similar colors. I use these two, but today I got the big palette out for this get ready with me. And then I just kind of do it like in my inner corner and go around. I really need to look in a mirror for this. I have too much going on. I need to concentrate. Oh my gosh. That was intense. Okay, I probably should be talking while I'm doing this so it's not like awkward silence. Um, but I need to focus also. I was just thinking about living in a sweaty house. Going, jumping back to that topic about how I'm moving out. I'm so glad I lived here because I feel like living in a sorority house is like such a unique experience. I literally live in a mansion basically with 50 girls. As much as I'm excited to live in an apartment and have my own kitchen and have my own room because those are things that I lack in this house, I am going to miss like being around people. Like I feel like I've gotten used to like going downstairs and talking to someone when I want to talk to someone or like seeing someone and being like, hey, let's go do something. Um, and next year, I'm going to have to make more of an effort to like reach out to people and like plan things because I can't just walk downstairs if I want to hang out with someone. Going back in with this highlighter for my inner corners. I will miss that, but I'm so glad I lived here um, just because I got that experience. I think like living in a sorority house is kind of nerve wracking for a lot of people if they have the option because it's so many girls. I got so close to girls that I like never even really knew before i mean I, I have a really big sorority so it's not that uncommon that you like don't know people but i feel like i got to know like a ton of girls i'm curling my eyelashes with the tweezerman eyelash curler look at the difference when i curl my eyes not my eyes my eyelashes okay i have two options for mascara I usually use the Falsies Push-Up Drama Waterproof. This stays on so much, almost too much, and I don't really want to deal with that tonight. So I'm going to use the Tarte Man Eater, which um, isn't as waterproof. I don't even know if it's waterproof or not, really. But I just know that it comes off easier. But my eyelashes don't stay as curled with this one. The other one literally, like, glues my eyelashes up. Another thought that just popped in my head. I've been posting on TikTok a lot more, which is, like, 
new for me because for the longest time I wasn't anti TikTok because don't get me wrong I literally spend so many hours on TikTok but creating on TikTok is just like a whole different like mindset I feel like versus a YouTube video and I just I wasn't really into it but now I feel like I've gotten the groove and I'm in more of like a TikTok mindset I don't know if that sounds like dumb, but I've been posting on TikTok more and it's a lot of fun. My TikTok followers are about to surpass my Instagram followers, which I don't know how I feel about that. So y'all should go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I don't really care. I mean, I'm grateful for everything, um, but I love posting on Instagram and on my stories and everything. So, okay, that is kind of the final look. I feel like that was fast. I don't know how long I've been filming. My camera's not telling me for some reason. Okay, for lips, honestly, usually just leave it like this. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do. I feel like my skin looks so glowy and pretty. Okay, here's like a final look. I don't know if people do this, um, but that's like, oh my, my skin looks really good. It looks better on camera. Like I will say that, but like, still like pretty good in person too that glow probably just gonna keep aquaphor lips on i'm gonna link all of these products below i hope that you enjoyed watching this little get ready with me i definitely had fun talking to y'all and filming it i feel like it's been a while since i've just like talked to the camera and i talk to the camera a lot in my vlogs but yeah this was like a good little get ready with me um thanks to my sister who told me i should do this and thank you guys so much for watching um i know i literally just said it but go follow me on instagram and subscribe on here and you can check out my tiktok if you would like i want to stay on because i love talking to y'all even though i'm like talking to a camera but i just i'm just like so grateful for you all and i hope that i can bring some like enjoyment and positivity and happiness into your life and stay tuned for some amazing la content this summer um but first we're gonna finish out the school year strong i love you all so so much thank you so much for watching and i will see y'all in my next video